The thing that's so exciting about this stream is that it's showing us that there's a new path forward when we want to think about making our rivers better. You know, a lot of people think about restoration, like we have to move people off, we have to stop cattle ranching, we have to stop agriculture. You know, but this river exists like this in the middle of an active cattle ranch. So that tells us that there's a place for people in the solution. In this case, we're trying to help recover a particular species of salmon that lives in the Shasta River, coho salmon. Salmon, as we know them, have been around for uh, at least 50 million years. They have weathered extreme events throughout that history, earthquakes, mega droughts, floods. And the reason they're able to persist is because some die off during tough times, others hang on. The species as a whole can persevere into the future. Today, we don't have that diversity. One of the problems that salmon are facing is there just aren't that many of them anymore. And at the same time, there's more people and less water. So as time goes on, it becomes harder to find that perfect place where we get to share the water with all the people who need it, as well as the fish who need it to survive. To solve these problems, we need a lot of basic information. So the science that we do is to answer questions about how much water is in the stream. That tells us how much water we have to work with. What temperature is the water? That tells us if it's good water for fish or good water for irrigation. What kind of habitat exists here? You know, what kind of deep, slow pools where the fish can slow down and grow? What kind of food is here? So all of that information is data we're collecting when we come out into the fields and sample bugs or measure stream flow or measure water temperature. Being in places like this helps me feel like my soul has been plugged in. Places like the Little Shasta speak to the people's souls who have lived here all of their lives and for many generations. Being able to preserve it and pass it on to future generations, you know, is important to them. There are solutions that can help us maintain the environment and maintain our own, not just livelihoods, but heritage.